here from the Brampton Center for Sports and Entertainment on Rogers Sports. Our referee this evening will be none other than John Stevenson. They call him Hollywood for a reason, and you'll find out today, folks. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens. You get into your uh, your rookie season. You're not used to the to the travel and uh, the school and everything, and then you realize how much bigger and how much more endurance you have to get in order to play in your second season. And Cairns has done that. So we're away and running. Klesla will play the puck in off the boards. Klesla will move it out on the right side. Here's a break now for the battalion. McClement pass into the middle. Rowan scores. Beautiful passing play has the battalion on the board in the first minute. And that's why Stan Butler put this line out there first. Richard Cairns, as you mentioned, has been very successful in two games so far against the Owen Sound player so far this year. And Jay McClement just gave him a great pass. He telegraphed it all the way. The defenseman still didn't have a chance on the play. And he goes upstairs on Curtis Sanford, waited for Sanford to make the first move. Goes top shelf. And we're just 33 seconds into this hockey game, and the battalion have a lead and something we talked about in the pregame show. They'd have to get out quick, and this would be a good team to get out quick against. Taking a look at the replay, great pass by McClement. And Rowan goes upstairs, and it's 1-0 Brampton. Chris Rowan around the board, stopped by Thompson. Centering pass right there. Didn't connect, knocked away by the Owen Sound defenseman. Now here's another chance for the battalion. Bateman to Reynolds scores. Great movement, Thompson, Bateman, Reynolds. What a great job by the forward line, and they just handled the puck in there like they were taking candy from kids right in the Owen Sound uh, zone, and I know Dave Siciliano can't at all be happy by that, but great work behind the net. Thompson, backhand, no look pass to Bateman. Bateman makes a great move, and coming to the net is Reynolds, and a great job. He knocks it home, and you'll notice, Mike, that shot went right off the post, so some pinpoint accuracy there by Reynolds. In at the blue line. So the Platers will set up the power play here. Back up top to Domkowitz. He'll shoot. His shot was blocked before it could get to the net. Platers moving around well. Stopped by Chan. Loose on the side of that shot. Scores. Wes Goldie right on the doorstep. Has drawn the Platers to within one. That's why the captain is on the power play. Wes Goldie collecting his 14th goal of the season. And it didn't take long for the league's 17th ranked power play to get into action. A couple of power plays, we'll uh, get to that a little later in this game that have struggled all season long, but uh, no problems right there as Wes Goldie is there with a wide open net to beat David Chant, and we've got a lot of scoring so far in this hockey game. Good movement, Domkiewicz moves it, and then a great cross ice pass from Campbell right onto the tape of Goldie, and David Chant was caught down and out of position. And that brings the Platers to within one. So it just didn't work out. Kazarian can't move the puck ahead now. Here's a chance for the battalion. Havel with it. Backhand loose in front. Torres slapping at it. Sanford somehow able to scoop that puck out of the air. His pass deflected into the zone. Limer with it back there. Has it stolen. Now loose out in front is Cook. Shot. Rebound loose at the side of the net. Sanford is down. And somehow again, Curtis Sale doing a good job roughing up his man down behind the net. Pass across again for Torres. Up top, Klesla will shoot and score! Rusty Klesla has put the battalion back up by two on the power play. Very patient, with just 44 seconds remaining in the first power play. Joel Ward, as you see, comes back on the ice. Curtis Sanford is beaten by Klesla. And good patience here on the part of the battalion. Torres looking for something down low, doesn't see it, so he has to go back to the point to Klesla, and Klesla takes three steps in, winds up and lets a cannon go, and with the traffic created in front of the net, Sanford had trouble getting his eyes on it as we go back to the replay again from another angle. Watch the traffic in front of the net now. Yeah, great job there, and Klesla, with Sanford having no chance to see it, gets it by Sanford, and the battalion are now up three to one. And it's just like the old days. Brampton's having no problem putting the puck in the net. Now McClement up along the left side. Looks into the middle. Shot scores! Scott Thompson on the doorstep has increased Brampton's lead to three. Scotty Thompson, a huge night so far. He scored a couple of goals here for the Brampton Battalion. And they are celebrating in fine fashion as they take the 4-1 to one lead. Thompson gets around his defenseman, goes straight for the net, and this 
Might just be one of those nights here for Curtis Sanford. No chance once again, but sometimes when you give up that many goals that quickly, it can mean the backup goalie is waiting in the wings. Trying to maybe slow things down just a little bit here. Pass out in front. Big save by David Chance. Puck slid across. Domkowitz with a shot, and Chant kicked out the right pad to make that save. Seville's again across for Domkowitz. His shot again goes wide. McAllister with a shot scores. Kyle McAllister from an awkward angle to cut the lead to two. Turned into a shooting range there. Poor David Chant was moving from both sides of the net. Domkowitz let a couple of quick shots go. And the second one is uh, the rebound comes right out to McAllister, who wasted no time himself in getting the shot off. And McAllister gets the goal. It'll go back out to the sideboards where McAllister just picks it up and kind of goes off balance and beats Chant before he gets a chance to get over and make the stop. There it is again, a little bit quicker for you. And David Chant, a uh, little concerned, but uh, his arguing will go all for naught as this game is now a 4-2 hockey game in favor of the hometown battalion. Oh, it's now the second goal, it's by number 19, Kyle McAllister. Barrett couldn't move things back there. Al Sullivan will just flip it through the middle. Harrison couldn't grab it. Here's a break the other way for the plater. Shot scores! Bill Zalba takes advantage of Harrison's mistake, and the battalion lead is down to one. Well, the overaggression again of the battalion defensively is, is what caused this goal. And Sal Zalba just takes his chances here as he goes in all alone and slides it between the legs of goalie David Chant, who hasn't really looked sharp here, and just nine shots on goal. Three of them have bulged the twine. And that makes it a 4-3 hockey game. Just when you think the battalion are off and running, they've been slowed by a couple of quick goals here by Owen Sound, and it's now 4-3. But they have grossly outshot their team, or their opponents, rather, many times this season. There's a little collision in front of the net that will definitely draw a whistle as Sanford looks like he's been shot. Sanford is down face first in a heap. Chris Bernard notices that and came out to try and talk to a few of the battalion players. Not quite sure who was responsible for that. Hopefully we can get it here on the replay. Sanford uh, just motionless on the ice face down. Corey Roberts, the backup goalie, has yet to start moving. Watch this, uh, it looks like Kurt McSwain. Corey a little closely as we go into the slow mo McSwain tried to stop. Oh, yeah, and then maybe the left knee or groin of the goaltender Sanford. He was stretched out and then face planted. Like something right out of the WWF. Sanford will slowly make his way to his feet. It looks like he will remain in the hockey game. Just down, coming out of their own zone. That puck gets tipped. Klesla first on it. Takes an incredible hit from behind there, and that's going to draw a lot of attention from Maleko. Hats and shoes all over the place down in the corner now. Is Menard trying to grab a man down there? As Klesla, just a horrific looking hit from behind there. And the captain Maleko wasted no time in getting in there. That's not the. Not the type of thing you want to see Joel Ward doing the duty, dirty business and the captain Maleko pointing at him so as to warn him not to do that sort of thing again. But Klesla goes back for the puck and you'll see him come into your screen here momentarily. And he's just pounded from behind by Joel Ward. And it looks like the visor came up at the ledge and watch Maleko, he jumps in and just attacks Joel Ward right away and sends him flying to the ice. And Maleko wanted a shot at Ward and Ward just kind of turtled. So Klesla still lies motionless on the ice. On the ice. Uh, Hamlin Smith, the trainer out there to attend to Klesla, and it was just one of those unfortunate instances where he had stopped skating and then was pushed by Ward, and you'll see his face hit the ledge of the boards here. Watch from this angle, you might be able to see it a little better. Ward coming in from behind, Klesla tries to stop, now he's pushed and you see his face go right into the ledge of where the boards are. 
And even, even with that visor there, that can always cause trouble because if the visor comes down, it can cut the area above the lip. If it goes up, then it exposes the entire face, including the nose. And that the tough kid that Klesla is will get up, but uh, I'm sure he's leaking over there and he will head to the bench to get some more attention from the trainer, Hamlin Smith, but Joel Ward throughout the rest of this hockey game, I'm sure will be a marked man. I think this is definitely going to create some bad blood here. This Ward gets a five-minute major. We know Kusla is a, a European player, and they have the the uh, reputation of being soft, if you will. But if you notice a few games back, Kusla took on one of the toughest guys in the OHL in St. Mike's, uh, Adam Delu. There it is there. We'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, Joel Ward has been kicked out of this hockey game as a result of the hit on Klesla. Maleko will go to the box, two for roughing, for attacking Ward after the play, and Ward will take five minutes, and he is sent to the showers early, so an already depleted Owen Sound bench will get even shorter. Through the middle. Moves it across for McAllister. McAllister waits and rings it off the post. Shove it across for Klesla. Russell will move it through the middle. McLaughlin with it now hits the blue line, and we've got a penalty coming up again. This time it will go to Rusty Klesla as Kazarian got under his skin, and now we're seeing a little more action, and we've got let loose. It's Cook and Menard. Cook and Menard, and Menard's firing the lefts right now. Now they're tied up. And Menard just blocked him with a stiff left and then a stiff right. Now they're both tied up. Liney's just waiting to get in there now. And they do. Yeah, Mike, I think it was just a matter of time before these two teams dropped the gloves. The uh, tension had been running high, especially after that hit to Klesla. It was Menard and Cook who could no longer Stay apart from each other. They drop the gloves, do a little dance, and that will be that. And the penalty to Rusty Klesla. Goldie with it along the left side. Centering pass right there. Campbell just couldn't grab the handle on that puck. Shot again. Loose in front. Shot scores. Campbell stepped around, and we're all tied up at four. Campbell and Goldie had a chance earlier on the same rush as Goldie made a rink-wide pass to Campbell who was unable to get it. Now this time they connect once again and Campbell makes no mistake about it as he goes right around David Chant and he was left unmolested in front of that net. I'm sure the defenseman for Brampton will get a talking to after that. McSwain takes a run at him. Torres picks it off, centering pass, Hobble all alone in front, tried to make the move to the backhand but just couldn't find the handle. It in. Vukovic loses it to Havel. Havel coming in the other way with a stick from Vukovic. Flips the pass across. Backhander scores! Well, speed kills, and right there, Lucas Havel just killed Nick Vukovic defensively. He got by him, created the two on one. Owen Sound questioning whether or not the net had come off the goal, but it did not. Watch Lucas Havel as he blows by Vukovic. It gets them all turned around. And then he has a wide open Rafi Torres, just flicks it over to him right on his tape. And Torres took it the rest of the way, goes backhand and beats Curtis Sanford. And the battalion have regained their one goal lead. Rafi Torres picking up his 15th goal of the season. Lucas Hovel with the assist and the battalion lead at 5-4. Here come the battalion back the other way, led by Bateman. Drops it for Thompson. His shot scores! Curtis Sanford misplayed it, and the battalion are now up by two. I'll tell you, Mike, they've done this about six times tonight. The first player will come in over the line, in this case, Bateman, and then will drop the puck back to the trailing player to allow the trailing player to get a shot on goal. This time, Bateman leaves for Thompson. Thompson, all he did was fire it at the net. And Curtis Sanford, he might have been partially screened, gets the left pad down, but not in time, as Thompson picks up his second goal of the hockey game. Yeah, 
And again, the Bram Brampton O is rolling. Wrist it back in the other way. Left for Limer. Centering pass, Hovel along for McSwain scores. He just chipped it up over Sanford and it's now seven to four. Well, I think Torres surprised Limer on the play and he got it out in front to Hovel and McSwain and the Brampton Battalion are doing it again, folks. They now lead it seven four. Watch Torres, he surprises Limer, pickpockets him and then goes to Havel. Havel's on all sorts of time, but he finds McSwain streaking in off the left wing and he goes up over Sanford's shoulder. That makes it 7-4, the battalion now in control of this hockey game with a three-goal lead. So the Platers will move back the other way, trying to put a dent in this battalion three-goal lead. Campbell with a quick shot, and Chant just able to squeeze the glove on that one. Maleko now. Getting roughed up down in the corner, loses the puck, centering pass scores! All alone in front was Sullivan, and Owen Sounds back to within two. Well, defensively, Brampton fell asleep there. Maleko back alone by himself with three Owen Sound players all over him. Lucas Havel, the winger on the play, decided not to come back and help. Watch Maleko as he's in the corner all alone. You'll see three, one, two, and the third one out of your screen right now. Well, he gets pickpocketed. And then in front of the net, Owen Sound able to get it out there and get the goal. Watch Havel. He starts to move towards the offensive zone. And there's two rather than three. Sorry, Owen Sound players all over Maleko. Coming in to get the goal for Owen Sound. Pass ahead now. Campbell's got Goldie going to the net. Campbell waiting, centering pass scores! Goldie buries the biscuit in the slot and suddenly Owen Sound back to within one. Well, Jason Maleko got caught. You know, he's seen a lot of ice time here tonight, the captain has for Brampton. And it's starting to catch up to him right now. He got caught. And as he tried to come back into the play, he looked to pick up Goldie. But he was too late getting there. Watch him trying to hustle back into the play. Gets the stick down. Both players have their stick down. But a great play to get the puck over to Goldie, who goes on the short side on Chant, takes a bit of a beating for it, but a good pass by Campbell as he threads the needle right on to the tape of Wes Goldie, and Goldie buries it, and just when you think it's over, the Platers come roaring back. It's now a one-goal game. In the corner. Here's a chance back the other way. Torres with a shot and a fantastic glove save by Sanford. Campbell will slide it ahead. As we're inside of two minutes here in the third period, loose on the side, shot scores. How that got in the net, we don't know, but Kyle McAllister has tied things up at seven. Well, once again, another defensive lapse by the Brampton Battalion. And the veteran Mike Dompkowitz finds McAllister on the left wing with a great pass and watch McAllister go short side on David Chant. As we said, he's looked shaky all night. McAllister gets control and he goes short side, blocker side on Chant. And this hockey game, folks, is tied. Can you believe it, Mike? Well, we saw Brampton cough up a 4-1 lead and well, they've just coughed up a 7-4 lead here in the third period. So it looks like we are headed for overtime. Just three seconds left on the clock. Face off to the left of Sanford. Torres will try to get a quick shot away. Couldn't do it. And a third period collapse here from the battalion after leading it 7-4 here in the third has led us here to overtime. Stopped and neutralized. Goldie now tries to step around. Takes a good bump there by Maleko. Hanchuk tried to throw one way up the middle, but that didn't pay off. Loose in front, shot, save, another shot, chance down. Nothing happening there as the net pops off with just under 30 seconds to go here in overtime. Oh, man. Tyler Hanchuk, a couple of chances to clear the puck out. He put it right onto the tape of the two Campbells, Adam and Derek. They've been doing a fantastic job here tonight. A couple of cracks in front of the net, but Chant, huge in the nets for the Brampton Battalion, and he shuts the door before Owen Sound can bury it. Hanchuk then comes back to make sure the net is dislodged. And with 30 seconds left, we've got a face-off just to the left. 
of the outstanding Brampton goaltender. 12 seconds remaining. Hits the blue line, and he'll just roll it in around the boards. Campbell charging hard after that puck. As time winds down here, and that will do it. As we've been treated to a fantastic hockey game here tonight in Brampton, but the downside of all this, Brampton had two three-goal leads in this game. But we will be back to discuss that a little bit more, but we'll take a quick break. Again, here your final score tonight in Brampton, Battalion 7, Owen Sound 7. We'll be back with more here on Rogers Sports in a moment. for sports and entertainment where things have ended up in a 7-7 draw here as we take a look at tonight's three stars. The th third star from Owen Sound, Wes Goldie with a pair of goals. The second star, Rusty Klesla, a goal and an assist and a real feisty game. And tonight's first star, Scott Thompson, two goals and one assist. And I think an honorable mention has to go to Mike Domkowitz of the Owen Sound Platers. He was fantastic, and he must have logged over 35 minutes of ice here tonight. As you mentioned, Mike, I don't think he left the ice in the entire overtime period, so he was outstanding as well. But your three stars again, McAllister, or excuse me, uh, Goldie, Klesla, and Thompson in a 7-7 final.